how do you stop young bankers from doing a two or three year tour of duty at Houlihan Loki and then jumping off to do private equity? Uh, this is a challenge across our industry. And um, yeah, I'm really, <laughs> the evolution from where we started out 30 years ago to uh, now being viewed as this really great training ground for young people is something I'm actually proud of. Uh, we, but it's not we, good for business. <laughs> it's, it's not, yes and no. Uh, we do have, uh, if certain people, certain young, young people come to work with us and they have a good experience, they learn, oftentimes they're going to work with some of our best clients. So we have enthusiastic Houlihan Loki supporters embedded in, uh, in our clients, which is fine. That being said, it's enormously disruptive if an entire analyst class or associate class did that. So uh, we, we, uh, we accept some portion of it. We've, uh, our human capital management team has actually uh, opened up a bit of a broader lens as to places we recruit. So uh, we are bringing in people who have maybe more diversified backgrounds than you know, strictly finance. Uh, and, and different skill sets necessarily than uh, what you would uh, see typically. Now, look, they have to be financially literate and, uh, and, and be able to do the job, but I think we've just taken a bit of a broader lens on the recruiting side. Uh, this is, by the way, it's a function of the really robust economy we're in. Uh, when the economy turns even a little bit, uh, I think you'll see less of this going on. So we're dealing with it. Uh, other investment banks are dealing with it. Frankly, other industries are dealing with it. You have a lot of really bright young people who are going out and doing something that they view as more entrepreneurial uh, and seeing these very large paydays uh, with uh, with respect to entrepreneurial ventures. I think there's a different mindset. I, you know, I, I kind of got out of graduate school and you know, the desire was to go to the, I went to law school, to go to the best law firm and really get a good education. And if it works out at that law firm, it works out, you stay. If not, you're, you're well-rounded. The, the mindset with millennials, I think, is uh, they, are, they are less risk-averse. Uh, especially some of the brighter ones. Um, and, um, and so uh, I, th I think it's a function of the economy, the mindset, uh, the time and place. And it's a generational thing. It's a generational thing. It's an it's a, it's a, uh, economic cycle thing. It's a... Um, Maybe there's some negative reaction uh, post the financial crisis to to Wall Street. Um, so you so know, sort you... of a, a, a more progressive view or something like that. I don't know. Have you found any one or two things that 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 help to explain why someone might stay at the firm longer? Uh, management, mentorship, uh, involvement in deals. You know, having them viewed as being an integral part of the deal team and process, bringing them to meetings. I mean, it's, it's, it's the basic stuff. It's basic empowerment of people. Uh, and, but you need to be doing it at that most junior level. And that's why um, we, we try to train our people to do the right thing vis-a-vis -vis management, because ultimately they'll have happier, more productive employees, better trained employees. And, you know, there may be maybe some viewed diminution in, in productivity because they're going to a meeting that maybe they don't, the, the person doesn't need to be at, but you know, that's, that's a short-sighted view.